Hey guys. Well, I was just visited by one of my students from last year, Seth Gutierrez, and he made a suggestion to add some wacky beats to my videos. So, we're going to try this. We'll see how it goes. So, quadratic functions part two. In the previous video, we talked about vertical stretch and vertical compression. So in this video we're going to talk about translating a function up and down. So let's review our parent equation for quadratic and I'm going to be using function notation today. Remember f of x represents y so y equals x squared and our parent again we should know this by heart guys 0, 0 squared is 0 1, 1 squared is 1 2, remember x is input input 2, 2 squared is 4 and so on and when we plotted these points we plotted 0, 0 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9. Normally I don't recreate this every single time. Oops, did that one wrong. Sorry about that. Talking, writing, and having music in my ear aren't the best things for Mr. Kramer. Mr. Kramer likes it quiet. Mr. Gutierrez, but I am trying to make my videos more interesting. Okay, so anyway, translating a function up and down, if we take a look at example one, here we have the function, the parent, you can see the parent right here, x squared, and x squared, remember, is y x squared is equal to y so that means that we're talking about these values right here so what we're, what's happening here is that the y values are increasing by 2 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another column here and for our new function We'll call this one, let's change this to G of X. This letter in the front is just a label. So if the original function is F of X and my new function is G of X, we'll put O G of X right here, G of X. So what are we going to do with each of these values? Well, let's take a look at what the equation says. It says to add 2. That's pretty easy. Okay, and then we plot the points, so at negative 3 we're going to go to 11, so I know that's 9, negative 2, 6, so here we're going to go up 2 units, 0, 0 is going to go up 2 units, um, negative 1, 1 is going to go up to 3, so notice all these points are getting translated up to units. Okay, so here we have, this is g of x, this is the parent function being translated up to units. Now going the other way it works as well. Let's take a look at another function. This time we'll take the parent function and we'll do this to it. Okay? So what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen to the graph?
to the graph and to the table. And that is your question for tomorrow. Please make sure that you graph this function on your graph. Please add another column here for function h and explain what happens to the graph and what happens to the table in a paragraph form or a sentence down below. I hope you enjoyed the wacky beats. Hopefully you heard it because I don't really want to um, make it any louder. See you tomorrow.